Helen Twelvetrees, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left an impression on many through her work in the film industry. Whether you recall the first movie featuring this iconic actress or have a personal story of how she impacted your life, there's much to discuss about her contributions. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. As we delve into some funny, shocking, and sad facts about her, keep watching for more insights. What's your story or memory? We'd love to hear it. Helen Twelvetrees, an actress of her time, deserves a spotlight for notable contributions to the world of cinema. Born in 1908, she emerged as a prominent figure during the early years of Hollywood. What sets her apart is not just her talent, but the impact on the film industry in the 1930s. Her career soared during a time when the film industry was undergoing significant transformations. With a distinctive acting style and captivating presence on screen, she became a recognizable face in the bustling world of Hollywood. Work in both silent and talking pictures showcased adaptability, earning a reputation as a skilled performer. In an era where the cinematic landscape was evolving, she carved a niche for herself. Demonstrating prowess by taking on diverse roles, showcasing a range that resonated with audiences. Whether drama, romance, or comedy, she effortlessly navigated the intricacies of each genre. What makes her worth celebrating is not just on screen talent, but the impact on shaping the narrative of women in early Hollywood. Roles often depicted strong, independent women challenging the norms of the time. In doing so, she became a trailblazer, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. As we reflect on cinematic history, it's evident that she was more than just an actress, a symbol of change and resilience. Contributions to the world of film continue to intrigue and inspire, making her a significant figure in the annals of Hollywood history. In conclusion, with a pioneering spirit and undeniable talent, she played a crucial role in shaping the early years of Hollywood. The ability to adapt to the evolving cinematic landscape and portray complex, compelling characters makes her a noteworthy figure in the history of film. Celebrating her legacy is not just about recognizing individual achievements, but also acknowledging the impact on the broader narrative of women in cinema, a name that stands tall in the pages of Hollywood history. In 1919, tragedy struck when her younger brother met an untimely demise in a devastating house fire. Despite this heart-wrenching loss, she persevered, drawing strength from the embers of her resilience. An accomplished artist, she skillfully captured the diverse tapestry of scenes encountered during global travels with her military husband. Through paintings, the vibrant landscapes, and bustling cultures that left an everlasting impression on her creative soul were illuminated. The complexities of life became more pronounced when her marriage to Clark Twelvetrees came to an end in 1930. The divorce trial, a challenging chapter in her life, revealed the painful truth about her estranged husband, he battled alcoholism and subjected her to repeated beatings. Despite the stormy seas navigated, she faced these trials head-on, refusing to be defined solely by setbacks. Life's tumultuous journey shaped her into a resilient and intriguing individual. The indomitable spirit left an enduring mark on those fortunate enough to know her. In the world of Hollywood and beyond, she became more than just a thespian, she emerged as a symbol of strength, resilience, and artistic prowess. The story, etched with both triumphs and tribulations, continues to resonate through the annals of history as a testament to the human spirit's remarkable ability to overcome adversity. The narrative, like the strokes of a masterful painting, is a captivating tale of survival and self-discovery. During her heyday, a common jest circulating was that she held the esteemed title of being Lassie's preferred actress. Known for portraying distressed characters, she earned the moniker The Perfect Ingenue owing to her striking blonde locks. In 1936, a tumultuous incident made headlines involving her second husband, Frank Woody. Despite their estrangement, an altercation unfolded when he encountered her in the company of a male friend. The dispute resulted in the companion sporting two black eyes and a front-page news story. Amidst the spotlight of her career, these events added layers to the narrative of her life, showcasing the complexities beyond her on-screen roles. The twists and turns in her personal journey unfolded in a manner befitting a dramatic script, leaving an indelible mark on the chapters of her life. In the early years, she found love and drama at the American Academy of Dramatic Art, 
where she crossed paths with her first husband, Clark Twelvetrees. Their elopement in 1927 led to a life in New York's theater scene, but as she pursued her acting career, his struggle with alcoholism cast a shadow. The marriage crumbled, officially ending in 1931. Clark's battle with the bottle persisted, ultimately leading to a tragic demise in a street brawl seven years later. Post-divorce, she faced public scrutiny during a distressing incident involving her second husband, Frank Woody, in 1936. Despite their estrangement, a confrontation unfolded, leaving a male companion battered and the headlines buzzing. These turbulent events provided a stark contrast to her on-screen roles, adding layers of complexity to her life narrative. Not only did she grace the stage and screen, but her name found its way into Johnny Carson's comedic repertoire during sketches with Carol Wayne. Beyond the entertainment world, her personal life played out like a dramatic script full of twists and turns with a first husband's suicide attempt falsely attributed to her. Born in 1907, Helen Twelvetrees made an early mark in the entertainment industry, earning the title of Wampa's Baby Star of 1929. Following high school, she pursued her passion for acting, enrolling at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Her father, Williams Jurgens, served as the advertising manager for the Brooklyn edition of the New York Evening Journal. Amidst her early achievements, Helen's career trajectory gained momentum when she secured the distinction of Wampa's baby star in 1929. Post high school, she honed her acting skills at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Notably, her father, Williams Jurgens, played a role in the media landscape as the advertising manager for the Brooklyn edition of the New York Evening Journal. With the acknowledgement as Wampa's baby star of 1929, Helen Twelvetrees embarked on a promising career in the entertainment realm. Her journey into acting began after high school when she enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Notably, her father, Williams Jurgens, contributed to the media world as the advertising manager for the Brooklyn edition of the New York Evening Journal. Helen Twelvetrees' journey into the entertainment industry had an unconventional start. Her career took root after the accomplished artist George Bradshaw Crandall painted a portrait of her, which graced the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. At that time, she was a student at New York's Art Student League, immersing herself in the study of music, painting, and drama. During her teenage years, she found herself modeling for illustrator George Bradshaw Crandall. This early exposure paved the way for her entry into the world of acting, setting the stage for a career that would unfold in various dimensions. In 1941, she took to Broadway, appearing in the production of Boudoir. However, the show faced a premature closure after only 11 performances. Struggling with the downturn in her career, she succumbed to depression and turned to heavy drinking as a coping mechanism. Despite the setbacks and challenges she faced, Helen's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by unique twists and turns. From a teenager modeling for an illustrator to facing the highs and lows of Broadway, her story is one of resilience in the face of adversity. These experiences, though difficult, contributed to shaping the course of her life and career. In the end, her legacy stands as a testament to the unpredictable nature of a career in the spotlight, showcasing both triumphs and tribulations. The story is a reminder of the complexities that lie beneath the surface of a seemingly glamorous world. Helen Twelvetrees, a figure in the entertainment industry, found her final resting place in Middletown Cemetery, Pennsylvania. Cremated and interred in the new section, her simple stone plaque in Section D bears her name, birth, and death dates. This unassuming memorial serves as a marker for the actress who faced both triumphs and tribulations in her career. After a hiatus, she made a return to the stage in 1951, taking on a role in the production of a streetcar named Desire. Noteworthy is her connection to Middletown, where she eventually found her resting place. It's in this local cemetery that her cremated remains are buried, close to the time when her husband, Conrad Payne, was stationed at the former Olmsted AFB. The memorial, a modest marble plaque, stands as a testament to her life and career. It reflects the simplicity of her journey, marked by highs and lows. A streetcar named Desire represents not just a return to the stage for her, but also a moment in her life intertwined with the town where she would later find her eternal repose. In summary, Helen Twelvetree's story extends beyond the glitz of Hollywood, finding its conclusion in Middletown Cemetery. Her return to the stage and the subsequent connection to her final resting place encapsulate the simplicity and complexity of a life lived in the limelight.